right, guys, welcome to class. We're gonna get started with our warm up. We're gonna be working out hard today, so I want you guys to keep up with me. So here's how we're gonna start, guys. We're gonna do what's called a lunge. All I want you guys to do is start with your feet side by side. You're gonna step forward with one foot, and you're gonna tap your knee to the ground, and then you're gonna step back. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Step forward, kind of like in a long stance, tap your knee to the floor, and then step back. Okay, you guys are gonna do 20 of those with me. Ready? And go. One, and back. Two, and back. You're just tapping your knee. Three, four. Keep your head up, keep your hands up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, almost there, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, okay guys, we're gonna do 20 more, but we're gonna do them stepping back, so you'll feel these a little bit different. So I'm gonna step back and tap my knee, and we're gonna do 20 of those. All right guys, ready? And go. One, and back. Two, three. Try to keep your hands up and your head up. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway, come on. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. One more, 20. All right, guys, challenge time. Okay, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into a lunge position. You're gonna come off the ground and you're gonna hop, switch your feet like this, and then you're gonna land down into the lunge. Careful not to slam your knee on the ground. We're gonna do, you guessed it, 20 of them. Here we go, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, nice. All right, guys, so now we're gonna stay down here. We're gonna do a couple of different push-ups to get our body warm. We're gonna do 10 slow knee push-ups to start. So here's what I want you guys to do. On your knees with your hands underneath your shoulders. Now I know a lot of you guys can do push-ups from your feet, that's fine, we'll get to that. But we're gonna do knees now. So lower yourself really slow, like this. And up one. Now lower yourself really, really slow. Keep your body straight. Two, stay with me. Lower, four, lower, Five, push up as fast as you can. Lower, six, keep going. Lower yourself, slow, seven, down, really slow, feel the burn. Eight, down, nine, and down as slow as possible, 10. All right guys, now you're gonna come up to your feet. We're gonna do 20 mountain climbers. Ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, guys. Now, if you can, we're gonna do ten push-ups from our feet. But if you can't, you can do them from your knees again. All right, guys. Ready? And go. One, two, full range of motion. Three, four, five. You're doing great. Six, seven, eight. Nine, one more, 10. All right, guys, here come those 20 mountain climbers. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Whew, relax, shake out your arms. We're gonna do one more exercise, guys. We're gonna work the core. So on your back for 30 reach-ups with me. Feet up, back comes off the ground. And go, one, two, three, Four, five, six, don't move those feet. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right guys, last exercise, I promise. We're gonna put our hands under our hips like this. We're gonna do leg lifts. You're gonna try to do 30 of them. Keep your legs as straight as you can, as long as you can. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, 
Five, six, legs straight, come on. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Don't let those heels touch. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, last 10, count them with me, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, guys, very good job. Stand up in base, let's get ready to stretch. All right, guys, let's get started by swinging those arms back and forth. Keep breathing, your body needs it. Throw those arms in circles like this. Good, and the other way. One arm forward, one arm backwards. This takes hours and hours of practice, guys. Switch, go the other way. Good, now twist your upper body. Now hands on your hips, big circles. Try to keep your head right over your feet when you're doing this. And the other way. All right, guys, good. Reach up high and fold towards your toes. Good, bend your knees a little bit. Slowly come on up. We're gonna step back with our right foot into that lunge position, okay? But now we're gonna just push our hips forward to stretch this way. So you wanna keep your body up, but your hips go forward. So don't do this, you wanna be upright. Just hold that for a little bit. Good, now I want you to straighten your front leg so your heel is on the ground and your toes are up. And then you're gonna lean your chest forward like this. Good. Now, we're gonna take that front foot and we're gonna fold it across at a right angle like this and you wanna lean your body over the top of it. Don't sit down, stay over it. Good. And bring that one back. Now come up with the other foot here, starting with the hips forward. Nice. Now straighten your front leg here. So we're toe, toes are up, heels on the ground. We're bringing our chest towards the knee, bringing your chin towards your toes. All right, now let's take that foot, fold it across. We're trying to get a right angle. Don't sit down like I'm doing now. You wanna get over it here. If you can put your elbows all the way down to the ground and lay your chest on your, your shin, that's great. Good. All right, let's sit down, bring our feet in front of us. Now with the legs out really, really wide like this. Now we're gonna lean ourselves forward. Good, come up, massage your legs a little bit. So watch what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my right arm, I'm gonna put it on my left thigh like this. Now I'm gonna bring the other arm up and over like this. Stay in that position. Keep your hands where they are. Good, let's go the other way. So now your left arm comes across to the opposite leg and we go up and over. Nice, good. Now, leaning forward again, back to the center, maybe a little deeper this time. Good, all right guys, come on up. Let's pull the feet in real tight so the bottoms of your feet are together and then lean forward.
Good, come on up, shake your legs out a little bit. We're gonna do that one more time, except this time I want you to put your hands on your knees and kind of push them down as you lean forward. Good. Okay, hug those knees in tight now, like this, bring everything back together. We're gonna do one more stretch. I'm gonna have you guys rock up to your hands and knees like this. Stair step the feet, press those heels towards the ground, hips in the air, head between your shoulders. Just hold this position. Good, now bend your knees so that they tap the ground, then go right back into the same stretch. All right, bend your knees a little bit and hop up to your hands, come up to attention position, and Kenye. Nice job, everyone. All right, guys, to me. Step back, fighting hands. So we're gonna do some knee ups, guys. Knee up and key up. Your hands are high. I want that knee bouncing off your shoulder. With me, ready? We're gonna count to 10 in Korean. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dose. Yose. Ilga. You do. Aho. You. Good job, guys. Switch your feet. I want you counting with me, getting these numbers memorized. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dose. Yose. Ilga. You do. Aho. And you. Good. All right, guys. Switch your feet. So think of your arms, guys. It's like a little goal post. You're going right between those arms with a straight leg here. So my leg's going to be straight, and I'm just coming right up between my arms as high as I can. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dose. Yose. Yuga. You do. Aho. One more. You. Good. All right, guys. Switch your feet. Same thing on the left. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dose. Yose. Yuga. You do. Aho. You. Very good. All right, guys, switch your feet. So now we're making a big circle this way, going all the way across. So you're just following the foot here. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dose. Yose. Yuga. You do. Big range of motions you can, guys. Aho. And you. All right, guys, switch your feet. Same thing on the other side. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dose. Yose. Ilga. You do. Aho. And you. All right, guys. Switch your feet. Okay, this one's a little bit of a balance challenge. You're going to keep your legs straight the whole time. You're going to go straight up. You're gonna let it go down without touching. See how my foot's not touching the ground, but it's all the way down. And then I go in a circle like this, using my hip flexor to pick it up. So here and around, that's one. We're gonna do five each side. Ready? Hana, up and around. Good. Do. We get my head, my hands, I'm balanced. Set. Good. Net. Dose. Good, that's what you beat. Same thing, five on the side. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. That's it. Good. All right, guys. One more. One more thing that we're going to do for this uh, for this little section here is we're going to do a double knee up, just like our jumping front kicks. So you're going to go one, two, like this. And we're going to do it ten times, only on your dominant side. So whichever one you want to do. Ready? Hana. And then reset yourself back if you move forward. Do. Set. Net. Good. Don't keep moving forward. Reset yourself. That's it. Yose. And back. Yuga. You do. Aho. Last one. You. Nice job, guys. Attention. And bow. 
All right, guys, we're gonna get into some kick combinations. Now, when we're doing multiple kicks, guys, make sure you have space, okay, guys? So kind of get yourself a lot of room back so you have room to move forward on these kicking combinations, okay? So here we go, guys. We're gonna do a front kick, round kick combination. Hands up high, left foot back. Very good. And then back yourself up. Every time, reset to this position so you have that room moving forward. Good. And back up. Ready? Very good. When you guys are doing these kicks, guys, I want them high. I want your hands up too. Good. And then back it up. Very good. Now guys, look from this, you can see from this angle, you can keep doing what you're doing. Look at how my foot position is. A ball of the foot and then the top of the foot. I want to see that from you guys. Ready? Nice. A couple more. Good. And guys, if you don't have a ton of room, look what you can do to kind of take up a little less space. After I do my front kick, look, I put my foot like right by my base leg and then I don't take up a whole lot of room moving forward. If you do have room, you can put that foot way in front of you and take up space, okay? So however much space you have. Three more, ready? Good, and then back. Very good, reset. One more, nice, okay guys, good. So now we're gonna do a left foot round kick and then a right foot ax kick up over the top. Ready, make sure you have your room. Nice. Ready, reset. Good. And back. Very good, guys. A couple more. Two kicks, two key ups. Let me hear you. Ready? And up. Good. One more. Good, okay guys, so as far as getting your ax kick higher, okay, I want you guys to think about your eyes and your head, right? If you're looking down and your head is going forward, your ax kick's gonna stay down. So you gotta let your eyes go up and pull your head back so you have a nice high kick. Three more, ready? Nice, ready? Good, last one. Very good, guys. Now, we're gonna get into one of the most important combinations, which is round kick, back kick. Very useful in sparring. So, left foot's back. We go knee up, twist kick. Now we turn our back, boom, and we throw that back kick straight back. Notice how you guys can only see my back? That's very important for when you're doing this combination. One more slow with me, do it with me, guys. Round kick, boom. I turn, right here, I'm done turning. Your back is to the screen. Your knee stays right at the ground, right, and then you drive that heel straight back. All right, let's do it fast. Give yourself that room. Good, let's reset. Very good. You're just kind of peeking over the shoulder with one eye. Good, a couple more. I'm gonna do the same thing from a different angle, but you guys just keep doing what you're doing. Ready? Time to reset. I'm not gonna rush you. Last three. Last two. Last one. Nice. Okay, guys, let your brain juices settle from all that spinning. We got one more combination to do. We're gonna do a round kick, 360 round kick. All right, guys, so this one. The first part simple, just a regular right foot round kick, easy. Now, we take our left foot, we step behind like this. As I step behind, now I just spin, and now I'm ready to do another round kick. So that was my 360 kick. So watch me do it again. Just watch this one, guys. I'm gonna go round, step behind, spin into my round kick. Now do that with me, okay? So you put your right foot back, ready? Round, step behind, and then wind right into it. All right, guys, here we go. Don't take up too much space. Don't spin out of control. Ready? Nice. And look how I keep my head right over my shoulders. I don't lean or teeter or totter or anything like that. Good. Again, ready? Good. 
just like those last kicks, guys. You can take up a little bit of space with this kick. If when you land from your round kick, you just go little step, little step like this, and you barely even move. Ready? Very nice. Three more. Good. Back it up. Reset yourself. Last two. And one more. Excellent work, guys. Attention and bow. All right, everybody, attention and bow. Okay, guys, so for forms today, we're just gonna be doing one form. Okay, and we're gonna do it a few times because this is an advanced form. We're gonna be doing our second degree black belt form, which is called Kumgong. Okay, guys, so Kumgong, this is a, a very challenging form. I think this might be the most challenging form I've ever learned, and it's very fun and tricky, and I think you guys are gonna have a good time with it. So let's try this. Attention, Jumbi. All right, guys, so the first movement we're gonna do is we're gonna step forward with our left foot. We're gonna do a double out block like this. Okay? Now, we're gonna step forward with our right foot. And we're gonna do a concentration move into a palm strike. Five, four, three, two, one. We do that again. Five, four, three, two, one. And we do that again. Five, four, three, two, one. All pretty simple so far. Now we step in a back stance, moving backwards, and we do a regular speed neck chop like this. Now we do it again. Neck chop. One more time. Neck chop. Good, okay, so this is where we get into the, the, the tricky stuff. Watch what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull that foot that's in front, my left foot, I'm gonna pull it back so I'm very heavy on my right leg. I'm gonna chamber a high block like this, and now as I lift my left leg up off the floor, I'm also moving my arms into a high block, low block position. So all that is in like a concentration move. So I go five, four, three, two, one, here, and I explode up into that high block and low block. Now I chamber my hands at my hip, step into a horse stance, and I'm punching across my body like this. Now I'm gonna re-chamber, and I'm gonna do two steps in like a 360 motion here, and then I punch again, okay? Now, we're gonna chamber both hands by our right ear. We're gonna do a crescent kick here. As I do a crescent kick, now I'm gonna do what's called a mountain block, where I'm gonna do an out block with one arm and an in block with the other, like my arm's like a blender here. And I do that at Ikea, here. Now, I'm gonna step forward with my left foot as I do a double out block. Here, still in that horse stance, okay? I know this is tricky, guys, but you're doing great. Pull the left foot back. We're gonna do a five, four, three, two, one. Two low blocks, kind of like our brown belt form, except with our feet separate. Left side chamber, both hands to the left. I do the crescent kick, and I do my mountain block. Here, like a blender. Now I'm gonna face the front. I pull my right foot back light, and I'm heavy on my left. Now I'm chambering a left high block. Five, four, three, two, one. Now I chamber at the left hip, step into the horse stance, and I punch right across the body. Rechamber, now I do the 360. One, two, boom. I hit that punch across with my left hand. Pull the right foot back. We're gonna do that exact same thing again. Squat low, come up. Five, four, three, two, one. Chamber, hit. Rechamber, step, boom. We punch again. Now it's time to do that kick into the mountain block. Chamber on the left. We do our crescent kick. Mountain block, key up. Oh, yeah. Now we step with the right foot. Double out. Now we pull the right foot back. We go five, four, three, two, one. We're almost there, guys. Now we're gonna take a right crescent kick, chamber on the right side, crescent, boom, mountain block. I face forward, I pull the left foot back. I'm heavy on that right leg as I stand up. Five, four, three, two, one. Chamber, punch, like we did in the beginning. Rechamber, step, step, bang. And you land in that horse stance, looking in the direction you're punching here. But oh, and show. Good work, guys. So we're gonna do that again, maybe a little bit faster, kind of give you a little bit more time to process all these motions, because some of these are new and tricky. So, Jumi, start simple. Double out, here. Step in a palm strike. Five, four, three, two, one. Step again, five, four, three, two, one. And again, five, four, three, two, one. Now, we're stepping in our back stance, neck chop, boom. Straighten that arm here, neck chop. Do it again, neck chop. Good, now the foot that's in front. We pull it back as we look to our left here. We squat on the right leg, five, four, three, two, one. There's that high block and low block. Whatever leg is up, that's the side I'm moving my low block on. Chamber. Hit as I land in the horse stance. Boom, here. 
Now I re-chamber and I do my step set. One, two, boom, and I punch again. Now I pick up the crescent kick mountain block. So we chamber on the right side, both arms, crescent kick. Ah! Now my left foot goes forward, double out. Left foot comes back. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we chamber on the left. We do crescent kick here, mountain block. Excellent. Now we pull back here. We go five, four, three, two, one. We chamber. Boom. There's my punch. Okay. Now you're starting to get the hang of these motions, so I don't need to describe them as much. But I'm going to re-chamber, and I go step, step, one, two, here. Pull the right foot back. Let's do all that again. Five, four, three, two, one. Chamber, land in the horse stance, hit. We're doing our 360. Re-chamber, step, step, boom. Right here. All right, guys. Now, chamber on the left. We're going to do our crescent kick. Boom. We mountain block. Oh, yeah. And remember, all that's moving in the same direction. Here, with high elbows like this. Not here, but up. Now I step with my right foot. Double out block. Pull that right foot back. Five, four, three, two, one. Right side chamber, both fists. Right leg kicks. Crescent, mountain block. We're almost done. We're facing the front. We pull the left foot in. Right leg is heavy. Five, four, three, two, one. Chamber, hit. Re-chamber. One, two, boom, freeze. Check your horse stance. You're looking in that direction. Left fist is by your hip. Right fist is across. Auto. And show. Excellent work, guys. So that is your Kung Gong, second degree black belt form. I really encourage you guys, even at the, uh, the, the lower belts, to just practice this form, get it done. You can even watch this segment again after you finish the class, and I'd like to see who can get this form done. You don't have to be anywhere near a second degree black belt form to practice this and memorize it. All right, guys, great work. All right, everybody, it's time to talk about a word of the month, and the word of the month is generosity. Okay, guys, so today we're going to focus mostly on being generous with our time and our goods in their community in what's called a charity. So you've probably heard that word charity before, right guys? And there's a lot of different ways that charities provide for people, provide for the environment, provide for different things, and there's a lot of different ways that we can help, okay? Um, so let's start, guys, by talking about how we can be charitable to people, people in our community, people in our neighborhood, things like that. Um, well, there's a few different ways, guys. Maybe you've heard of a food drive. Okay, guys, you ever heard of a food drive where people get together, they kind of pack foods and give these foods to needy people, right? That's one thing that you could do. Um, maybe you could uh, volunteer at an animal shelter or something like that. Maybe play with the animals, take care of the animals, feed the animals, right? And that's kind of a really fun experience for people, but it's good for these animals as well. And it also helps the people that are taking care of those animals, right? Maybe you can um, uh, go visit a nursing home right? Visit senior citizens or young kids, right? That are maybe sick at a hospital, things like that. These are really good ways that you can be generous with your time and charitable with your time. And you can do it through different organizations that can kind of help you figure out how you can use your time to be generous. Um, what about ways we can be uh, charitable with our time in regards to helping the environment? Okay, guys, there's a lot of little things that you can do. Um, all the time at your house, of course, things like recycling, making sure you're not leaving trash out in public places and stuff like that. Um, but there are, again, other things you can do with charity organizations, right? One of the things that's kind of common in Florida is beach cleanups, right, guys? Because the beaches are really important to us Floridians, and we want to make sure that we're keeping them, you know, you know, clean and we're keeping them safe for people. So one of the things people do, they get together with a group of people on the weekends, and they just organize a big beach cleanup, and that's something that you could uh, partake in, right, guys? Um, you can also do little things like planting trees, you know, if you have like a garden at your house or there's even different places where they're always trying to put new, new trees, new plants, new things like that just to keep the environment flourishing, right? And you can contribute with that. You can volunteer at wildlife um, organizations and things like that. All of these different things are just ideas, right guys? Different ideas for us that we can use them to just kind of progress our community, right? Be contributing to our community. And we're doing that by being generous with our time. Or in some cases, if you're donating food, donating clothes, things like that, this is another way that you can be generous with your goods and treasures as well. All right, guys? So getting together with your community, being generous, as generous as possible. Everyone say generosity. Good job. All right, let's all stand up. All right, guys, let's start with a couple of hook kicks. Here's what I want you guys to do. Put your kicking leg in front. You're gonna put your right leg in front here. We're gonna do a little bit of a skip. As I skip, pointing my heel, I'm gonna lift my knee up, and I'm gonna make a hook kick just like that. So I'm stabbing out, and I'm bending through. All right, guys, 
with me. Ready? Good. And then reset yourself back every time. Kick. And then reset yourself back. Good. I don't want you moving forward any more than just that one kick. Very good. Get it up face level, guys. And you got to point your heel like a side kick. Ready? Nice. A couple more. Two left. One more. Nice, guys. All right, let's switch our feet. We're going to put our left leg in front. So really make sure you're emphasizing that heel pointing and your knee coming up. It's just like a side kick. Good. And then back. Make sure you got space around you in case you lose your balance during this kick. So we're turning, lifting our knee in that same exact position, and then I hook through, and if I do it right, I come back to my starting position. All right, guys, ready? Hook, and then back. Good. Reset yourself. Hook, and then back. Good job. Ready? Hook, and back. Nice. Great. A couple more. Very good. Get your focus back. Let your eyes be on something. Let your brain settle. Don't get dizzy. Very good. Snap it out, guys. Good. And you can feel your leg going straight and then hooking. Okay? We're not keeping the leg straight the whole way. Bend and extend. Ready? One more. Nice. Okay, guys, very good. So now we're going to move on to spinning heel kick. Okay. So for red brown belts, this is your board break. This is a tough one. Okay, guys, this is the one people struggle with a lot. It's all about hitting with the correct part of your foot, holding your foot in a side kick, turning with the back of the heel, and just going through with speed. Okay. We're going to keep our legs straight the whole time. It looks like this. What? Here. It's kind of like a hook kick but I'm not bending my leg at all. I'm just straight the whole way. All right, guys, here we go, with me. Give yourself that room. Wind up your body. Throw it through. Good job. Good. And look at your foot, right? I can't see your foot, but you can. Is your foot like this, or is your foot like this? If your toes are up, you're not gonna break the board because your heel is pointed down. You need to be in this position so you can go all the way through. Ready? Nice. Ready? Good. Very good. Keep that leg straight, guys. And you can give some momentum by winding up with your upper body. Good. Two more. Last one. Nice job. All right, guys. So now we're going to get into a turning kick that we don't do as much. But it's a fun one. We're gonna do a turning axe kick, okay guys? So, turning axe kick, watch. I'm gonna turn as much as I can. I'm gonna lift my knee like this, here. Now I'm gonna, almost like I'm doing a front kick out at, the, out at the side, and then I'm gonna carry that front kick over and do an axe kick, here, okay? So, kind of like you would do an inside out axe kick where you go bent here, but you're just doing it while you turn. So I turn my back, here, do it with me. I lift my knee out at an angle, and then I go up and over here, okay? So this time, your toes do want to be in this up and down vertical position. All right, guys, let's do it together. Ready? Oh, yeah. Nice. Go back. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. Very good. Like you're going forward with this kick, landing in front. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah. Nice. So guys, a lot of times, people do their turning axe kick and they turn it into a hook kick. We're kind of going like across that way. Hook kick's fine, but we already did those. We're doing downwards now. So keep your body upright, 
and turn with your knee facing right at the ceiling. Good, a couple more. Beautiful. Three left. Last two. And one more. Very good, guys. Excellent. So especially for those of you guys getting you know, ready to test for your black belt, these are great board break ideas. Spinning heel kick, turning hook kick, turning axe kick. You can even add jumps or jump 360s to those and get really tricky with it. All right, guys, beautiful work. Attention and bow. All right, guys, before we get into our self-defense today, I wanted to let you guys know that we have a separate playlist with every color belt self-defense for Taekwondo, right? So starting at white and moving all the way through the ranks. Um, and these demos are much more dynamic kind of examples with a partner so you can see what they'll look like when you're practicing them for real. So I wanted to show you guys these, what we're going to be doing today. Alright guys, so we're going to be working on self-defense. We're just going to focus on one today, which is our red brown belt self-defense. Someone trying to attack you with a stick. So I want you guys to imagine. Imagine someone's walking up and hitting you in the head with a stick. Ow! Give me that. So hard to find good help these days, guys. So we don't have to imagine anymore. Someone's doing this. Someone's whacking you in the head with a stick like that, okay? So if you guys can visualize, here comes that attack. We're looking for this gap right here. This is our secret to success. When that swing is coming at you, that's where you're diving. Okay, I don't need that anymore. So here's what you guys are gonna do. You're gonna bring your hands up like this, really tight to your face like you're hiding here. As you bring your hands up, you're gonna take your left arm, boom, and you're gonna go like this. This is what's gonna protect your head here. The stick or the person's arm is gonna ride down your arm like that. Do it again, hands up, extend, good. Now, we don't wanna stay here, we wanna get close to the person. So as I bring my hands up, I'm gonna go boom, in like this. Do it again, ready? Hands come up, boom, in like that, beautiful. Now look, I'm not bringing my arm over here, it's pressed against my face. My head isn't up, it's pressed against my arm. Everything should be working together. Now, we gotta hit this person, because they tried to hit us. So as we go here, boom, we're throwing that punch. Remember, when I swung, this is where you're diving, right in there. Ready, go. There's your punch, good. One more time, boom, excellent. And you're stepping in with that left foot, getting into your strong stance. Go, boom, excellent. Okay guys, now we've defended the strike, we've hit them, we gotta take that stick away so they can't keep hitting us. So as I go in, boom, here. Now the arm that's up, you're gonna trace their arm and you're gonna grab it. You're just trapping it here. I'm grabbing their tricep, that's this part right here, and I'm squeezing tight. The hand that I punched with is gonna make a clinch here. So now I have my right foot back here, and I'm ready to start striking, boom. And that stick is no threat to me as long as it's under my arm, okay? Let's do it again. Hands up, boom, dive in. Now I trap, make my clinch, and I'm able to strike from here. Good, let's do it again. Ready, hands up, boom, push. Grab the arm, you're in your stance. Kick, kick, kick. Now, we wanna take it away. I don't wanna just move away from this person who has a weapon. I can't create space unless I have the weapon too. So I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push on their face. And this hand that's grabbing their tricep, it's gonna scrape all the way along till I find the butt of the club. Okay guys, and as I pull out the butt of the club, I just strip the club away. Now I've got the stick and I've created some space, okay? So usually when someone's holding the weapon, guys, there's a little piece sticking out the bottom. That's what you're looking to grab. In, boom, dive and punch. Grab, control, kick, kick, push away. As I move my body back and I scrape right along the arm until I find the butt of the club, boom, I pull it away and I'm free. Last one, best one, right here with me, guys. Ready, dive it in, boom, control, kick, kick. You can even punch him if you want. Now push away. Scrape, find the one of the club, and strip it out, and you've got the stick, and you've gotten to safety. All right, guys, so that is your red brown belt self-defense. Attack with a stick. Good work. All right, guys, it's that time of class. Time to do our weekly challenge. Now, this one's a lot of fun. Um, it's a bit tough, which that's the whole idea, right? We want to be challenged. And this is probably the most requested thing that I get, right? People are always asking me in class, Mr. Alex, how do I do a kick-up? Now, if you know what a kick-up is, you know what we're about to do. If you've never heard that term, I promise you've still seen someone do it, okay guys? So a kick-up is when you explosively go from your back to your feet. Let me show you what it looks like. So what I'm gonna basically be doing is I'm gonna be sitting down, I'm gonna rock back to my hands, and I'm gonna burst up to my feet like that. 
But in order to do this, in order to practice this, we need a little bit more of a safe training environment. I know not all of you have these nice matted floors. Um, so let's move here. Perfect. Okay, so here's what I want you guys to do. If you have, if you're watching this video, you can watch this video on your phone or a tablet or something like that and take it to an area um, outside if you have like a backyard or if there's a park nearby that you can do this somewhere where you can, um, so you can practice this. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna get on the ground like this. What you wanna get used to is rocking back so that your hands like this go under your shoulders. So when I rock back, I wanna do this like this. So I'm placing my hands on the ground and I lift my hips off the floor like this. Do you guys see how I did that? So I rock back, my hips come up. That's the first motion you wanna do. That's how you're gonna load the motion. Once you get to that position, you're gonna use your arms and you're gonna kinda of push yourself up. A lot of people think this is mostly a leg movement, but there's a lot of arms involved. So once I get here, my arms are gonna push me and my feet are gonna go up and I'm gonna to try to arc them right down to the ground. So let me show you again. You rock back and you push like that, okay? Now, there's a couple of things that you have to really focus on. One is not putting your feet too far forward. This is gonna happen the first couple times you try it. If you put your feet too far forward, you'll just fall right on your back because there's nothing under you. You have to pull your feet under you. Watch my feet really closely and see where they go. So I put them directly underneath me so that way I can stand up. Okay guys? Now the next tip I'm gonna give you is once your feet are really close under you and you've pushed really hard with your arms and kicked with your legs, take your chest and throw your chest forward like this. Because if your chest lags behind, even if your feet get close, you'll just rock back to your back again. So I kick and I push hard with my arms and my chest goes forward. Watch my chest. This way, so throw myself forward with my upper body. Okay guys, this takes a lot of practice. Um, you're gonna kind of do that little worm falling onto your back kind of thing a couple times. So ease into it, do it nice and slowly and think about those tips that I gave you. Okay guys, um, and again, don't do this unless you have some soft um, yard-like area where you can train and you'll be totally safe. All right guys, excellent work, get that one done.